Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me. Please consider liking and subscribing. We are real tech for real people. Today's video will be on 8K. Um, there's been so much talk about it for the last three or four years. We're actually that deep into 8K's life cycle. However, it seems that 4K is here to stay with brand new offerings from Sony and Samsung of 100 inches and 98 inch LEDs that are 4K. LG OLEDs next year at 90 plus inches at 4K as well as new OLEDs from Samsung again at 4K. So what is 8K? Where does it fit in to the grand scheme of things? Is it a fad? Was it marketing? Let's discuss. I've seen Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for joining me this evening. The conversation is on 8K. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I've done similar videos about 8K in the past and the unlikelihood of us having much 8K content. Well, here we are. We are in our third or fourth year of 8K displays, starting with Samsung. You're seeing 8K panels coming from other manufacturers. The challenge that we're having is there is no content. The challenge that I'm really having is in two parts. Firstly, that these manufacturers that we do like Samsung, Sony, LG are continuing to put out 4K panels and they have launched these larger panels. I had an opportunity to spend a lot of time with the X92 with uh, Robert Zahn at Value Electronics. I will also spend time next week with the 98 inch, I believe it's 98 inch, Samsung QN90A. That is their 4K flagship that they've made into 100 inches the x92 is not the x95 but it is its 4k entity it's not an x90 either but it is a high-end 4k panel we've been led to believe over the years after a certain size after we pass 75 or 85 that the image would be too soft that we'd need a um, higher pixel count to see a cleaner image that's not entirely true or entirely false. And where I'm going with this is this. Not only are we having larger panels being put out at the very high end, these aren't cheap panels that we'll see at a Costco where they're 86 inches. These are 100 inch, first time consumer um, purchasable panels. They're LEDs. Again, LG releasing a panel. Here's the problem I have, even with Samsung releasing new OLEDs, they're going to be 4K. So if we're pushing 8K, why are we still putting out 4K? Now, I'm all for 4K. Um, my newest panel is an 83-inch C1 behind you. Um, I can attest to how clean and sharp the image is, even five, six feet away from a panel this large. Now, I will tell you that in the comments and listening to a lot of people tell me, why they don't like large panels they're too soft i would always challenge that and say how often have you been in front of one not in a store but lived with one being around one what's your experience with anything over 55 inches now if that's all you can have at that size that's absolutely fine but be able to really speak on larger panels you have to actually have one within your home and spend a lot of time with them and i will tell you at 83 inches up close 4k is still absolutely fine it's crystal clear it's absolutely beautiful so there's that part of me owning two large 4k panels spending a lot of time with very large 4k panels at value electronics and then with them going next year with more 4k you're introducing oleds at 4k though you've been pushing 8k led since the q900r i believe was their first one um, for samsung and now you're having the high senses of the group or the tcls of the group want to put out 8k only even though i think that is a mistake because the processing with 8k and the processing at larger panels is much more important than it is at these smaller panels the upscaling is more important having great upscaling really matters with larger panels now the issue i truly have is Unlike in the past, when we went from standard definition to you know 1080p, we always had that um, that vision of in the future we'll go from this 
to this to this meaning there was a format on its way there was dvd vhs dvd blu-ray hd dvd there was always something for us to say this panel will it soon be useful with this um this format we don't have that here there is no promise of 8k now will there be over the air or streaming and these different codecs coming out that we've heard about okay um that's fine but what we're having is panels that are now three or four years old that still have no content limited content on youtube where even if it's maybe an lg or a samsung we can actually see 8k demos but up until recently sony had a challenge even showing you those demos there wasn't that that ability to play that kodak of 8k um, but there are no 8k blu-rays on the way that's a problem so where i'm going with this is was it marketing only is it a fad is it like 3d now i would tell you that um at least all my time having a 75 inch panel i would think that 85 inch would be too soft um 90 inches too soft well i sat in front of the x92 for quite a while i was farther back but probably about eight feet back and it was beautiful it was very clean it was very sharp um, but it was a very high quality and i expect the same thing from the qn90a at that size as well as next year's lg the challenge i'm having is what is that pixel density for with 8k um, because as we all know as good as upscaling is it'll never be better than native so as good as these panels are at upscaling 1080p native 1080p will always look better i will challenge anybody to take a new oled and a plasma and have a plasma playing in native 1080p i promise you at least in my experience the 1080p plasma is going to be better at doing 1080p 4k panels are better at doing native 4k upscaling um has noise it has some artifacting even really high-end upscaling now as good as a kk upscaling is it's not as good as native 4k so what is the point if it's not about size if you're going to continue to put out large large panels at 4k that's where i'm confused now we can also see being someone who owns a ps5 and a series x and a pc we can really now start to tell you how far away 8k is from being possible on these consoles neither one of them can truly do 4k 60 natively i'm not talking about super resolution or dlssr and all these different no 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 i mean native and the reason why native is important is that native on a large panel not on a monitor you can see noise it will create if you have banding on a panel that noise mixed with checkerboard rendering and all these different uh technologies all this different software that they use does create noise in the image not so with native content native 4k on my pc is much cleaner than an upscaled dlssr whatever processing you want to use as much as it's beautiful i really wanted these consoles to be able to do 4k 60. to me that was the target before the consoles came out there was all this talk of 4k 120 you don't know what you're talking about i said 4k 30 would be their possibility 4k 60 should be their goal so what we all have is not native 4k we have a 4k 60 fidelity maybe down to 30 then the performance mode is maybe 60 maybe this fake 120 great it's and what i'm saying to you is great that we have it i'm not complaining but the problem is while we're talking about this we have 4k panels for many years that are maturing and we have this 8k elephant in the room that's like hey you gotta buy me hey the meantime unfortunately for those of you that have bought samsung's they do not hold their value we've seen ak samsung has launched for nine ten thousand and then be three or four thousand less than a year later um or you'll have their 4k flagship either outperform it or nearly outperform it at a fraction of the cost with sony if you want the best sony led it's going to have to be the z9j 
but it's not because it's 8K. It's because it's higher end, higher zone count, higher peak brightness. There's really nowhere in the Z9J that you're saying that display is better than the X95 because it's 8K. And that's where I'm going with this conversation. Even having in my own home, the Samsung QN900R, I did several videos on it. I was able to use a couple adapters, DisplayPort adapters, get myself 8K gaming very slowly, but I could see what it was adding. It was super, super clean, almost too clean. It was sterile to a degree. However, I can see that if we had native 8K content where those of us would say, yep, that's why I have the panel. That's why I bought it. I bought it because I want no anti-aliasing needed. I want everything to be super clean. The problem we've had with movies, even in 4K, is the more clean those films are, the more you miss the natural grain structure. And movies like uh, 4K Blu-rays of older films sometimes look noisier than their Blu-ray counterparts. 8K is only going to look even more noisy i should add as it's adding processing so we're not really going to see 8k films we're definitely not going to see 8k games not from these two consoles and i can't imagine 8k games um in these mid console lineups that really have no business coming out now for three years because you guys can't even get the series x or the ps5 for this holiday season let alone uh, a refresh next year but 8K, then what is it going to be? 8K30? Um, what I keep hearing is a super sampling 8K. That's when these TVs are going to look their best. Not necessarily. A super sampled 6K, or was it a Ori in the Blind Forest? Looks amazing on a 4K panel. I had it go against the 900R, which was 8K. The 4K version looked just as good but it was LED versus OLED. But as far as clarity, it looked great. My point of the whole conversation is what are we doing? It is marketing. It is easier to say you have to buy a new panel, one size, two, four versus eight. It seems logical. But those of us that are in the industry, all we wanted was for LEDs, higher peak brightness, less blooming. OLEDs. Um, higher peak brightness, same black level. We all wanted a refinement of what we had. The problem is you can't sell to the public or make most of the people in the public upgrade 4K for those reasons. People are not gonna walk into a Best Buy and say, hey, look, I want the new 12-bit panel. When all of us want that wider color gamut, that's what we've asked for. The challenge is for these manufacturers, that is not simple enough. People aren't gonna walk in and buy an HDR display 4k versus 1080p versus if you remember 1080i it was always about ultra hd true hd you're gonna see you know 8k true hdr people aren't gonna buy dolby vision tvs they're gonna go 8k 4k it's very simple but where i'm confused and what's confusing many of you is if what we've been led to believe is that you need to be far away from these panels um someone in the comments will indefinitely put down some scientific chart where the eye can see this i'll tell you that's absolute nonsense i can see 4k easily i can see it in front of me every single day and the manufacturer will tell you that's seven feet for 77 inches eight feet for 80 85 the sony had recommended eight to nine feet for the x92 at 100 inches that's great, that's how far I was away. I thought it looked fantastic. But the challenge I have is, and what's 8K for? Is 8K to have your face right against the screen? Now, 8K for photography has been around forever. 16K cameras, all that stuff's been around. So I'll always take that challenge. If you have that kind of footage and you can show me 16K, I'm sure it looks phenomenal. But unless YouTube has the ability to show that to you, the TV will accept it, or we have mainstream content, be it games and movies, it seems to be dead on arrival. It didn't release this year. You know, so for what? We have the Q900R, or actually even with Sony. We had the Z9G, the Z9J. LG's QNED lineup was here this year. Um, you're seeing Samsung is on their third 
right? They had the Q900R, they had the um, 900A this year, the 950TS, 800. So they're on their third year. Depending on where you live, it's like three and a half. That's a long time to be out and have no content. And worst of all, no content promised. There is no format we're waiting for. We're not waiting for the 8K version of Lord of the Rings. or, And we're finding less people are double dipping. They didn't see a huge difference between 1080p Blu-rays um, and 4K Blu-rays. Some of the double dipping, the Blu-ray looked better. You're going to see more of that if we did 8K upscaling. People are going to say, wow, I thought the 1080p without HDR was brighter. It was punchier. It was cleaner. The 4K HDR one was dull. Had higher uh, grain structure because of the extra pixels. And the upscaling creating noise. A lot of them were 2K upscales. You keep hearing that. 4K, 2K upscales. Upscaling is not... Uh, a magic thing that makes the image cleaner or more refined. So the question I ask you guys is AK something that interests you? Have you always been interested in it? Um, were you waiting for it to mature? Were you waiting for it to arrive? Or are you seeing now that these consoles are out and they can't manage 4K? They can't. Um, you can throw whatever games you want at me. Tell me which one is native, native, not upscaled, not any of this special sauce, 4K native 60. What we should have with these consoles is 4K 60. And then your fidelity mode, or I should say your performance mode should be your 120, 1440p, 1080p, whatever you want to do with that. But the fidelity mode should not be 30 FPS. We saw this with the last launch of the Xbox One and the PS5. 1080p should have been their benchmark. PCs had done it for years. They both showed up at 720, 800p, 900p, really random resolutions. We're seeing that again right now. But we have 4K panels. We're comfortable with them. Um, two years ago, I said that they would make us upgrade <coughs> simply because we wouldn't have the choice. We're not quite there yet. LG, um, even the Sony A90J, when they canceled last year's, um, the, the panel that was supposed to be the Master Series before the A9J was the A9F or whatever it was, they should have, um, I thought that this was the A9DJ or an A90, yeah, the A90 I thought was going to be 8K. I thought their new Master Series, and I was, I was shocked that it was 4K. I thought the A90 would be 8K and the A80 would be 4K. So I don't know if these companies are pulling back from 8K. Um, as we know with Samsung, uh, getting through penetrating that pixel density has been a challenge to make the panels as bright. Does it lower the contrast ratio? And if it does, it leaves the user who has the 8K panel to simply say, well, it's 8K. And you're saying, well, okay, well, what's 8K? What do you see that's 8K that makes it look better? Now, don't get me wrong. The Samsung panels are absolutely gorgeous. The 900A is gorgeous. So is the Z9J. But to me, they're very good, almost 4K panels, because that's all they're really displaying. No games coming that are going to be 8K. Even PC had gotten sidelined with all this ray tracing and all the crypto and all the GPUs are hard to get. But I'm not seeing the GPUs being able to bang out 4K 120 easily. Graphics cards are $2,000. So what hope does the PS5 or the Xbox? As much as I love these consoles, I've accepted them as 4K. But being a PC guy, I fully expected 4K 60. And firing up the PC and seeing true 4K 60, it's interesting how the screen uniformity of this LG is much better with that native content, not upscale. And that's all I can say is look up what upscaling really means. And it's not this magic thing that cleans it out. Upscaling is not anti-aliasing. It doesn't remove the jaggies and make things smoother for you. Upscaling never promises that. All upscaling really does is add false pixels to fit your screen, and that is a larger screen where you can see the noise. And that's really the challenge I have 18 or 19 minutes in. My curiosity for you, is it a gimmick? Is it a fad? Does it have its place? Now, eventually they will force us to it, I think. But as I say that to you, 
their 100 inch panels are 4k the new oleds from samsung are 4k um <clears throat> the new oleds will be 4k so for many of us why bother that is my question for you let me know what you think in the comments is ak something that even if you have and if you think um and you have an ak panel and you love it please tell me why i do think they're still great but i look at them as just displays the ak doesn't really factor in for me i'll tell you when i see how clean with ak your profile picture is on youtube or whatever wow that's ak but then when the regular content comes on it's hard to tell one from the other and i'll finish with this the best panel out there right now in my opinion is the lg zx it is a thirty thousand dollar 8k panel it is a very large oled it is absolutely gorgeous i've seen it side by side against this year's led or oled king the a90j i favor the zx but not because it's ak i favor it because of its image there's something in the processing there's something in the saturation in the richness that is its processing not that it's 8k i would have loved to see in the in our value electronic shootout the ZX just go against the A90J. I think we had planned to do that. We may see that next year. But the ZX is better just because it's, in my opinion, looks better, not because it's AK. So my question to you again, what's the point? All right, guys, sorry for the very long video. I'd love to hear your thoughts with AK. Am I completely wrong? Do you feel that you need AK? Do you honestly think that for an 85 inch or whatever, these panels are... Um, too big for 4k do you feel that they're much much softer i'll tell you having this panel next to a smaller a9s um, um, from sony last year have seeing those panels yes the smaller panel will always have a sharper cleaner image however when you take the size and the clarity of this panel and you're saying to yourself wow it's still 4k and it's absolutely stunning the point for me is, what point is there for 8K? We look at projectors. They're just becoming 4K and beautiful 4K. And short throw is 4K. So really, what is the place and what is the purpose of 8K? Let me know what you think. I want to hear all of your thoughts. Don't hold back. If you think I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. You agree. You have an 8K panel. Tell me why you love it or tell me what the use case is for you, do you also think these consoles will do 8K? Will the new ones do 8K? Will your GPU do 8K at some point? Let me know what you think. Hope all is well. Love you guys.